I really had a lot, all the odds against me. Nobody, even the producers. Once, one of the biggest producers, look, I started with this trap music. I lasted five months, and I got caught, right? So now I'm, I'm, I gotta do time. Oh, they, you was five months into your career? You only five months. Look at this crazy story. I went to prison, and I had two, 200K followers. Uh-huh. Look at this crazy. It was crazy, because I was literally trying to get out focusing on music, and I'm not the most talented, I'll tell you right now, but I literally, I, I could tell you I worked the most. I went to prison with 200K followers, bro, and I came out with 4 million followers. Whoa. So, like, I so, didn't, like, I didn't became global outside, it's crazy. You obviously, yeah. somebody snuck you a phone. <laughs> so I get it, but like, come on. That's in my brain. Okay, don't focus on that. No. Focus on the music. <laughs> he said, focus on the music. You're gonna focus on the work. <laughs> but that's amazing, by the way. The thing Dude. Underworld's being very modest about is he didn't just make an album while he was away. He released that album the day he came out. It was a number one album. It was an atomic bomb. And like, I used to record major. so many songs that while I was in prison. How do you every, do that? Every month, every month. Nah, before I went to prison, uh, I used to record so much that instead of just dropping an album, I was like, now nah, we gotta, I didn't know how much time I was gonna do, so right. we had to like, estirarlo, make the most out of it. Yeah. Not just to drop make it, an album and then what? Yeah. 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 Then after a year, two years, three years, what well, I'm gonna drop, you know? Exactly. So I just started to divide it. One song, <laughs> This is a month. crazy story. It's a crazy story. You know what I was thinking story. about also too? <laughs> each month, right. I used to drop a song. And while I was in prison, I dropped this song at the th- Tiny producer. He was a, he's a really big legend in the Spanish community. He's like a Dre, like mm-hmm. a Dre for the Spanish community. And this song ended up being number one on Billboard while I was in prison. And the wow. Hot 100, like the song, Hotline song. Yeah. I don't even know how. And the whole Spanish culture, all the artists from the biggest legends since Daddy Yankee to Bad Bunny, Everybody was screaming Free Anuel in their shows. Oh, wow. Bad Bunny, yeah. wow. Daddy Yankee, all of them, I can't have, they even used to sing my songs in their concerts. I, I know, how's that feel shows? while you're locked up? The first time you hear your song on the radio, you're in jail. That's intense. What's that feel yeah. like? What's that, the moment you heard that, what did you feel like? Bruh, yeah, you know, <laughs> we used to start kicking the door because we, we used to be locked up sometimes. It was lockdown time. And yeah. the songs used to come out for the first time on the radio. All the, and it was your song. Everybody Does it make it prison, harder for you to listen? Inside Sometimes that? I was yeah. sleeping, I used to hear that boom, 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 boom. I was like, yo, that's the song, put it, put it, put it. I used to turn on the radio, I used to was playing my song. Everybody used to start kicking the doors, like, excited. Like, it was something, I don't know how to explain it. It was something, like, from God. It felt like it gave me strength, it gave me hope. 